Hello everyone, I am Izzy Noodles and welcome back to Blood Mountain. Now this is the part that actually gets a little bit harder. So we left off, we were about to plummet down the shaft, but not literally, you actually want to grab the ladder and keep grabbing it. But once you get past this block that's on Lara's left, yes that is left, you want to climb down because she won't grab for some reason and she will just plummet. And then make your way to the left. Yes, <laughs> keep going left. And when you get to this bit, you want to um, make your way down, grab this ledge. Also, when you get to the bottom of uh, the right hand side just there, you don't want Lara to lose her footing because otherwise she just won't shimmy. Don't know why she needs her footing to move to the left. So, anyway, this is our torch. And in here is our secret. So if you played Dream Raider 4, you will understand now why we needed all those items for this, for this secret. So uh, this time it's actually a little bit different. We're getting a gold rose that's behind that door at the back there. So I'm going to light my torch. Ignoring the secret, the goal is we need to get out of this room by lighting uh, three different... What are they called? These things that are on the wall. You know. You know how it goes. <laughs> so I will... There we go. I'm just trying to put the torch down so I can press the first button here. And I can also use that to light the torch. There's a wall. Here we go. So you do want to jump over that bit where I kept jumping. It bit of a slope. So lob that there for now. So coming to this first one we need to put water in this one. So where is it? Where's my water? Here it is, water skin. Next one is fire. So we need our oil which is the jerry can. Put that in there. So I'll light that just in a moment. I will firstly now put my sand into this one. Alright, so just grab your torch from wherever you threw it. And light it. There we go. So we don't need the torch anymore. Just, just get rid of it. And pick up this golden rose. So it's shown as a door which hasn't done anything, indicating we need to do something else in order for that door to open. So we'll come to that later on. So for now we want to find two more buttons to press which will open the gate across the way there. Firstly, before I press any more buttons, we've got, you can't see them, there are some crossbow arrows over there. This might be a good place to save is a tricky jump so you actually want to be a little bit to the left there we go just do a running jump and here we go here's our crossbow arrows so now to get back is also a little bit tricky so you want to do a half tile jump oops don't do that why, Lara, why? Alright, so try not to take your finger off the walk button. <laughs> so, oh, she won't go forward anymore. Well, that's alright. She won't go backwards either. She's stuck. There we go. Cool. Come on. Come on, Lara. She's not got stuck just there before on me. Now just... Oh, she's stuck again. Stop it. Stop it, Lara Croft. Do your half tile. There we go. So from here, there is a button straight below. You may have noticed that hole there. There is a ladder that we can go down, which is actually the long way down. But if you come to here, there's uh, to come to the left side of this lamp. I'm going to call it a lamp. Drop down, and you will not take fall damage. So here's the button. Button number two. So now we need to find button number three. 
So I'm going to go back up the way you would have come down if you'd taken the long way. And yes, her legs are immune to lava. You see on the right side just there, you've got a slight slope in the lava. So you don't want to touch that, otherwise she will just think that you want her to touch the ground and let go and then just die. We don't want that. Right, last button. Remembering. <laughs> Slightly out of practice for this one. Okay. So we actually want to go across the rope. Line yourself up. I'm actually going to sidestep a bit because that lamp behind Lara will get in the way. Uh, come on, Lara. Line yourself up. <laughs> okay, so just running and jump through that. It's actually pretty easy to grab. I don't believe I've ever missed it. Alright, so just swing across to the gate that is closed because the next button, you might be able to see it right now, it's not very obvious. It's down here. And you want to be careful because there is a slope. Here we go. Okay, so now we've got two choices from here. Just mind the slope. You can see that uh, it's not fully the entire slab isn't fully a slope so you can stand to one side of it. Uh, from here we've got two choices of which way to go. We have a secret which is very difficult. It's through that gate there so we have to open the gate. But firstly I will show you the way if you don't want the secret. If you do you can come this way anyway. There's a couple of items. So we've got this med pack. Follow the corridor. Uh, you see there's a, a gap to the right just behind Lara. I've just gone past it. And all this area is quite mazy, but it's just taking the long way round. It's just to confuse you. So come to the second gap on the right. Come straight forward to the light. Don't stop moving because there are spikes. There are spikes. <laughs> there we go. So come out of this gap. So, route one will be through that gate. This is the easier route that I'm going to show you. Jump through here, and we've got a boulder trap, so just run into the gap. Oh, did not mean to do that. So keep all arms and legs inside the safe space until the boulder has come to a complete stop. Oh, there's the button. We don't want to press the button yet because because, because, we have flares. Awesome. So you can actually see these flares from this big area. This is actually the area where we're pressing all the buttons in. And you can see them flares from there. So right now, this is the button that will open that gate. So when I reload to show you the secret path, the more difficult path, I will reload from here. So let me just save. Awesome. So, Tomb Raider logic tells us that this button will be timed. <laughs> so, press it, roll backwards, and you've got this slope you need to jump up. Oh my goodness, I did not set myself up. Hang on, ignore all of that. We need to move this block. Move this block all the way forward. Otherwise, we ain't reaching that door. Alright, let's try again. Okay, here we go. So, flipping backwards. Sprinting for a little while. Don't really need to, but why not? Jump onto the block. Run and jump and grab. And the door will hit you in the ass on the way out. Awesome. So, this is actually where our paths will meet. So I'm going to firstly take out my crossbow, because I've not used it yet. There is an enemy to the left. Don't let it scare you. Takes about 
seven or eight shots from the crossbow. It's a very slow crossbow. There we go, that got him. All right. So now from here, because this, this is where our path will meet, we will come out of that room from the secret path. So I will now reload. All right, here we are. So after you've got the flares from the corner, just hop back out. And we want to move this block so we can actually get out. But because there's this sloped bit, we want to be all the way to the left of the block so that Lara can actually push it. So you can only move it forward once. And then we've got the uh, the crawl space that Lara came out of. So just jump to that. And that uh, spiked ceiling trap has actually reset, so we can come straight back through. That seemed a lot closer than usual. Hmm, took a little bit of health off me there. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so, opening the door. We need to find another button to open the door, which is actually a little bit tricky. And timed, don't forget that. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we're safe that time. Oh, Lara Croft, you and your walk button. All right, <laughs> so. The best way back across the chasm, is it a chasm or is it a pit? Um, you can just run and jump, but that takes off a lot of health. We don't want that. So, if you aim for the uh, little ledge where we got the crossbow arrows, I will save first, just cause. You will actually land on the slope down below. So, let's do this. There we go. So that's not nearly as much damage as it could have been. Could have been a crunch. <laughs> Okie dokie then. So, where are we going? This way. We want to go this way, and there is this wooden thing, bit of wood, <laughs> my word today. So we've got this wooden section that will actually break away, and we're aiming for the med pack. You can just see a med pack. So it will take a few attempts to get in there because there's a slope. So I'm giving it some save action again, and just run and jump. You might need to do a oh, three-step run instead of just your average two steps and jump. So it looked as though I was actually... Oh, she's stuck. Too far away. I'm not sure. It is a difficult one to get into. It's difficult to get out of as well. So just good luck to you. There we go. Got it. So grab this. And when I press the button, I'm going to turn, hop forward, so just press your forward button, just tap it, sidestep all the way to the right, so that's Lara's left, and then just tap the forward button again, and there's actually a slope there. You want to grab the slope, but it's grabbing the slope that's not always successful, because you might grab too far to the edge, and she just won't grab it. So you want to be backwards on the slope, so she will grab it. So here we go, save Nazis. Let's do this. Press this, forward, here we go. Yeah, too far to the side. That's why she's a bit... It takes a few attempts.
What? She's glitched. There we go. <laughs> Quite a few glitches that time. Okay, so the timer actually is relatively long. It's not one of them. Um, think of a word that I'm allowed to use. <laughs> it gives you enough time, it gives you plenty of time. Okay, so just line yourself up and as soon as you actually touch down on the ledge I recommend saving right now so we need to, sp uh, to sprint we've got some traps but you need to take your finger off the button with enough time to register that she's not sprinting anymore she's got a bit of a delay there so you want to grab this this ledge as you jump there we go, mind the blade, just take a step forward and do your roll manoeuvre. There we go, and here's another golden rose. We've got some crossbow ammo, which is here in the corner. Okay, so now we've got the same door, but it is now open. What am I looking at? No idea what that was. So this is the way out, which will also take a fair bit of practice. You want to be towards the right hand side. And yes, I'm going to save again. So you've got some slopes. You want to jump at the last minute and just veer around a little bit to the right, just so that you are sliding forward and there is a jump switch. Nope. <laughs> Because if you hit it too close to the right of that jump switch, that means you've jumped too soon onto the next slope. Try it again. E. So now we need to jump again. And don't forget, we this is where the paths meet. So we've got that green lizard. on there we go so here we are so this is where the paths meet we came out of that door if we'd gone for the easier path we would have come out of this door so so now we are on that track this is where I'm actually gonna leave the video so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time take it easy